I am on a program called Integrim, which uh, means international migration and integration, and it focuses on public policies around migration and integration of migrants. As part of the program, there are eight universities Europe-wide. Central European University is one of them, and the coordinator of the program is a Center for Policy Studies, where I'm based at as a junior research fellow, and in parallel, I'm a PhD student with the Department of Sociology and Social Anthropology. The research activity that I will be endeavoring to complete is around the topic of Romanian and Turkish migrant night workers in London, in global cities like London, who basically uh, run 24 hours around the clock. Um, they need uh, a labour migrant force, uh, which, uh, in my view, uh, such cities uh, wouldn't uh, basically be able to function on the rhythm that they are. I focus on the key problems that these people are facing in the night economy. And the research is basically trying to assess how these night workers negotiate access to a decent human life. The main disadvantages are the isolation, the, the health-related problems the night workers face, um, as well as um, having um, main difficulties in, in balancing between uh, the family life and, and social life. Solidarity and competition will be against each other, so I'll be looking at these two communities, community of Romanians, and Turkish night workers and um, try to find out what these people are doing, what sort of networks they are using in accessing the labour market. They are very different contexts for these two communities because Romanians are European citizens, uh, while the Turkish migrants in, in the UK are considered uh, third country nationals. Uh, and um, there are issues of intra-mobility within EU, but also outside considering the Turkish migrants. During the day, I work as a ceiling fixer. The bank is very, very, I'm saying, not at work, it's very hard, but the distance to get to the bank from work. I intend to take the approach where I will be a night worker myself, where I will be doing participant observation, which is a preferred method in, in anthropology, one of the preferred methods, and I will do that, um, uh, I will couple that with interviews in the, in the days. But it is really important, I think, to immerse myself in the night work and being part of these communities that I intend to do research about so that I can gain the depth and the understanding of, of people's lives as night workers. If it wasn't for the money, I wouldn't do it, but the money is good and I got no chance, so... The idea of using a different method, a visual anthropology, a visual ethnography a method to perhaps bring to the forefront the difficulties of showing the invisible and the visible when talking, seeing, observing these night workers. The documentary is based in London and it was made uh, together with the filmmaker Tim Marinan. We came about it when he was interested in portraying night work uh, as well as giving some night uh, rhythm of the night in London. Uh, and the four characters in the documentary, which is a hotel receptionist, a sex worker, um, somebody working in an airport in, in the building, as well as um, uh, a market uh, worker, uh, are confronted with, with various difficulties as, as night workers.